JAK 7.1 introduces many new and exciting features that further improve the efficiency of performing ergonomic studies. Three of the most important updates include a new Korean and Japanese population database, seated posture prediction analysis, and an updated disembodied hand module. Today, more than ever, you have to ensure that your workplace designs take the local population characteristics into consideration. The addition of Korean and Japanese to its growing list of population databases enables you to design better workplaces to accommodate the ergonomic considerations of local employees. In this example, you can see the human model based on the Korean database scaled to perform an accurate reach analysis. In this particular task, when we scale the model to a 5th percentile Korean female, the model cannot reach for the parts easily. But in this simple scenario that we found, if we provide workers access to step stools, every worker can safely reach for the parts on the racks. Using Jack's anthropometric database in this way demonstrates how you can design safer and more efficient workplaces for your global workforce. Whether it's a worker assembling parts while seated or a pilot operating a plane, we know that many manual tasks are performed in a seated position. Seated positions require posture considerations that are different when compared to working while standing. Now, you can easily analyze seated working environments for ergonomic studies. While seated posture prediction was previously available only in the JAK simulation solution, now you can access it more easily through the human posturing tool interface. When you perform ergonomics and reach analysis for a plane's cockpit, you can see that the seated posture prediction takes into account the pilot's anthropometry and balance considerations while he is operating various controls. Combined with the availability of multiple population databases, this ensures that the plane's cockpit is ergonomically designed to accommodate pilots from around the world. JAK 7.1 also introduces a totally revised disembodied hand module, which allows you to perform hand clearance more efficiently. The disembodied hands are particularly useful in rapid evaluations of hand and finger clearance issues and when a task requires a human to use only his hands and fingers. This tool also ensures that the presence of the whole figure does not obstruct the analysis of the issue related to the hands or fingers. In this example, you can see that the pilot can access the control bank, but only when the hand is inserted palm down, which might be a safety or compliance issue and require a design change. JAK 7.1 is available now. Contact us to learn more about other exciting features in the latest JAK Human Simulation solution from Siemens.